I want to hear all about it. So here's the idea. I'd love for you to make your own video using these five questions and the 3D printing on YouTube hashtag. So then I and anyone else on the internet can click that hashtag and watch those videos and learn more about you and your amazing experiences within 3D printing. So start Challenge accepted. Hello everybody, welcome back to your weekday weekend. My name is Adam, thank you so much for joining me. Today we are following up on Angus Maker's Muse video called Hashtag 3D Printing on YouTube. Uh, this should be a fairly quick one, hopefully. Hi Angus, what's up? So, getting right into it, question number one. When or how did you first hear about 3D printing? Uh, the short answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I knew it was a thing, I guess. I remember going to uh, a couple museums around uh, like high school age and seeing like, oh, this car was 3D printed or whatever. Um, but I don't remember when I first heard about it. Um, I do know that uh, the first like, I do know that the first time I ever saw one running with my own eyes was at my buddy Brandon's computer repair shop. They had one kind of running on the desk. I don't remember what he was printing the first time I saw it. Um, all I remember is wanting, wanting it. I wanted it. Um, I wanted it bad. There's some photos of it on screen now. I couldn't even tell you what kind of printer it is. I'm sure some people will tell me in the comments what kind of 3D printer it is. Um, it was slow. It was kind of loud. It had a small little build volume. And it was just about as expensive, if not more expensive, than my Ender 3. But uh, I know that he enjoyed it. Uh, and he just found models online to print. He did not uh, make his own models, and he still doesn't, to my knowledge. Of course, he doesn't really 3D print as much anymore. I'll get into that later. Question two is, what was the first thing you 3D printed? Uh, my answer to that uh, kind of depends. So the first thing I 3D printed when I first got my own 3D printer was a 3D Benji. And it's a, there. It's the white one. That was my first ever 3D print on my own printer. However, on Brandon's 3D printer that you've seen on screen, that you're seeing on screen now, um, I designed in Tinkercad, uh, very poorly, um, a deck box holder idea um, that never worked out. I, I didn't know quite how 3D printing worked at the time, so I made a, a kind of not a great design uh, because, again, I didn't know how 3D printing worked. But that was the first thing. He, he let me 3D print that, if only just to see how it wasn't going to work. Oh, well. Question three, do I view 3D printing as a hobby or as a tool? Well, I would like to use it more as a hobby, but unfortunately I don't have the time or money for that, which is why I haven't touched my Ender 3 V2 Neo in months, and I've been using my P1P basically non-stop since I bought it. I mean, it's, it's not running now, but you know. you know. I, I would very much like to use it uh, as both, but I just don't have the time. You know, I have a full-time job and other things, other hobbies, so um... I just, I've got to, uh, got to use it as a tool. Question four is, what is the best 3D printer according to you? To me, that question is framed as if it was coming from someone who doesn't 3D print, who's wanting to buy a 3D printer. Uh, and to them, I would say, get the best Bamboo Lab printer that you can afford. Um, that is not me being a brand shill. That is simply me saying that for the money, they have the most reliable and set it and forget it printers that you're going to find with reasonable costs, reasonable shipping, they're already mostly assembled. They do the hardest parts for you, that is bed leveling. If you don't like cloud ecosystems, you can run them offline. In my opinion, the best slicer on the market right now, Orca Slicer, uh, is derived from their own slicer, Bamboo. And uh, overall, they just, to me, offer the best package for the money, um, especially if you live in the US. Number five, my number one tip for beginners, there's actually two of them. Um, I can't pick one because both of these to me are super important. Uh, my, so, and these are in no particular order. My first number one tip for beginners is, um, learn to use CAD. Um, I have a whole video actually about learning to use CAD. I'll put it right up, right, right, right up there. And it's just so powerful to be able to design something on the computer screen and see it and use it within a couple minutes. It is like no other euphoria you've ever felt. Even if you work in manufacturing, like I don't, I don't work in manufacturing, but even if you do, being able to essentially manufacture parts at home, absolutely mind boggling. 
The other number one tip for beginners is get involved in the 3D printing community. I have a whole video about going to MRF, M-R-R-F. Um, there's also Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival. There's so many 3D printing YouTube channels. There's so many forums, so many places making filament locally now. I'm sure there's one near you. Um, in fact, Polar Filament. Um, you know, hey, what's up? So, um, yeah, you know, there's there's so much going on. Um, in the 3D printing world, and I think it's I think it's very valuable to get involved in, in the community, especially locally, and see what people around you are doing. So I think that's my uh, my five questions answered there, Angus. Um, you're supposed to pass it on now. So I think a lot of my friends on YouTube here don't do all that much 3D printing. Um, so I guess I'm just going to blanketly open this to any of my subscribers. If you feel the inclination to answer these questions for yourself and pass on the hashtag 3d printing on youtube love then by all means do so as far as who i'm going to call out by name i think i have to call out polar filament uh up there in troy michigan hi guys how you doing um like i was just saying there's a lot of companies locally making uh making 3d printer filament now all over the u.s so i think they're who i'm going to call out Thank you so much for spending your day with me. Remember, on my channel, every day is a weekend. Don't forget to hit follow, join my Discord, check out weekdayweekend.net for more weekend vibes. Until next time, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time, next weekend. Bye!